UV lighting, nothing new, been around since the 1930s. Um, UVC, the most effective killer, if you will. Uh, UVA, UVB found normally in the Earth's atmosphere, but UVC doesn't penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. But it has been proven to be the most effective killer for viruses, pathogens, bacteria, fastest killer. Uh, so it's the one that, that most facilities have really supported. We're seeing applications across all sorts of uses now, and we're creating those use cases and those long-term trials of how effectively they operate. Uh, no, no questioning the effectiveness, though, of UVC and how it kills germs and viruses. No matter where you put it, it's going to kill germs and viruses. So we can utilize the same unit that we use in a classroom in a school to disinfect the school bus. So we can leverage our spend and at different times of day utilize those devices. So how do you get started? Again, we see the portable units as really being that initial product to really get people working right away. You know, in terms of training and how do you use the units, they're fairly simple. They come with instructions. Uh, FSG has created a, a series of YouTube videos on how to uh, operate the units safely and how to install them. There's some minor, minor assembly that's required. We have in some areas a white glove service where we'll assemble the unit, come out, train your people how to operate it, go through the safety procedures, um, and even drop off some safety equipment. Uh, the unit itself operates when the area is vacant, so again, no special equipment is required, but just by simply buying some portable units and giving us some dimensions on your space, we can give you some guidelines or rules of thumb of how long to run the unit so that you know that you're effectively killing the viruses in the space. And again, as we talked earlier, it's really about the objects in the room and how long we run the equipment to really do an effective job so that you know you're getting what you paid for and you're, you're killing all the germs and viruses. So how do we figure out how to use the product and where to put it? Well, that's one thing where we have a, uh, a patented system. We call it a viral analysis, viral irradiation analysis. Think of the ultraviolet light like visible light. When we're lighting a table, for example, and the light is coming from above us, we have light on the table, we measure that in foot candles, but then if we crawl underneath that table, it's not dark. And how's that light getting there? It's bouncing off of a wall or another chair or another surface. And like that, the ultraviolet light is bouncing, and we know how long we have to expose the surface to kill 99.99% of germs and pathogens. And our software tells us that based on the size of the room and the object that are in the room. What we've learned from utilizing this product in the healthcare field is it's a non-invasive product, it's non-chemical, it doesn't need to be sprayed on, it doesn't interact with fabrics. Uh, it's very comprehensive. It, it, it isn't just doing the surface you spray it on. Everywhere the ultraviolet light hits is disinfected. I'm the owner and director of Mars County Educare right behind us right, been closed from the coronavirus. So we've been getting ready for our grand reopening. There's a lot of children coming into the facility from a lot of different homes, where a lot of different families are out in their workplaces, so there could be a lot of exposure out there. And having something like this just kind of puts our mind at ease that we're doing the best that we can do for the staff and the kids to keep them safe. Well, I think for our type of business, it helps us be a little bit more at ease with the children interacting with each other and playing with the toys and the materials that are out there if they're a little better sanitized at night um, with this product. Some people, you know, have looked into the foggers. I kind of was more scared of the foggers because I don't like things spraying in the air. Watching this in the classroom just now was amazing that it just it irradiated the germs with no harm to anything. Well, in protecting the staff, I think, what would I want for myself? I've got to be in here too each day. I have to be working here. And I want the staff to feel as comfortable as I want to feel. The good thing about your product is that we're in control of it. So we're not paying for someone else to clean to tell us they're doing this UV cleaning and we don't know if they are or if they're not. So with having the cello, we know that we're doing it the right way. In researching everything else, I'd have to tell them that this is really the easiest um, and most effective.
in learning about it and what it's doing as it irradiates the germs. It's, I don't know, it's just, why do you even have to think about it?